So yeah, this channel was originally created to document my journey as a road cyclist, to follow my trials, my tribulations, and to just shine a light to show you guys what goes on kind of behind the scenes as a British elite road racing cyclist racing on an elite team. Some of you guys may remember from back in the day, this channel used to be called Cycling Cam, but for me, cycling didn't always start on the road. No, it started on dirt. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but my introduction into the sport came on 20 inch bikes, fat tires, dirt, and a load of gravel rush. <laughs> BMX racing. I got into the sport around the age of 10 or 11 and I would race, I would compete, I would train every weekend up and down the country, across into Europe, pretty much every weekend up until the ages of 16 or 17 when I decided to quit BMX racing and I would start to pursue my second love at the time which was road cycling. I mean, yeah, I, I was pretty good. I was never the best. I won a few national rounds as a junior, but this isn't my like poetic way to tell you guys that I'm getting back into BMX racing. No, definitely not. Jumping 40 foot gaps with seven other guys doing about 40 mile an hour. Nah, I think I'll stick to road bikes. So right now my heart is firmly set on road cycling and I've got some exciting news regarding the 2020 season coming to your faces very, very soon. But right now it's the off season and I've always been a junkie for jumping junks and junk, jump, I've always been a junkie for jumping jumps. Why did I just make that sound so hard? So around this time last year, during a moment of reminiscence, I decided to purchase myself a new mountain bike. I bought myself a Trek Remedy 7 point something. And right now, today is the perfect opportunity to go and hit some trails. I've been to a few mountain bike parks over the past year or two, but today I wanted to try somewhere new, somewhere that I've never been before. I started searching YouTube, checking out different mountain bike forums to try and find the best mountain bike park within a reasonable distance of where I live in the Northwest of England. After around 30 minutes of looking, I came to the conclusion I was gonna head south, way, way south across the border into Wales, over towards Abergavenny to the Black Mountain Cycle Center. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy something a little bit different today. For those of you cycling fans, the cycling content will be back to the channel very, very soon. As I said, it is my off season right now. I'm taking another week or two off the bike, off training completely, and then we'll be back in hitting it hard for 2020. So I've just made it to the Black Country Cycle Centre uh, just over the border in South Wales and it's living up to its name right now because it is, it's wet and uh, I just text Monica and she said that it's sunny back at home so that makes me feel even better. But what I might do, like I have the whole day here so I might just wait 15 minutes to see if this blows over and uh, then we'll get kitted up and hit some trails. Because I mean look, at the end of the day we're mountain biking, part of mountain biking I mean, I think this guy's just off. I think he's just seen the weather and he's like, nah, F this, I'm going. Mountain biking, half the fun is getting dirty and just full of mud. So honestly, I'm just trying to motivate myself to get out of the car right now and get on the bike. Okay, so 15 minutes or so later, the rain has passed. It's starting to dry up now. I'm kitted up. Let's go and have some fun. P.S. I'm such a roadie with my uh, Castelli rain jacket on. So there is an uplift service at Black Mountain. But I figured, hey, a little bit of off-season training never did anyone any, any harm. You can also ride up. And I'm starting to regret my choice because it's quite a steep climb back up to the top, man. Okay, so as you can see, I've done a few runs now. It stopped raining, but it's still pretty wet. Like the ground's wet, the, the trails are, are pretty are pretty boggy and pretty wet. You know, the, the, the berms are quite slippy. So I'm just like trying not to push it too much in the turns, but let's keep things moving. Let's jump straight into a run. 
This is Moto, and it's called Moto, I believe, because like the jumps most resemble like a BMX track or like a motocross track, you know, doubles, uh, tabletop, step ups and stuff. So let's jump straight into it and let's do a run. And this one's not the longest because it only goes from like halfway up from the top. So it's not like a full length run, but it's a pretty fun one. It's a pretty flowing one. So let's jump into it. Here we go. Oh, we're in that one. Around this big steep berm, gonna try and keep a bit of momentum. Woo! Right, I'm on this side, straight into it. Oh, I don't really know which way to go here. Whoa, alright, got that wrong. Over the little gap, over the table. Keep my momentum. Boy. Oh man. That was fast. Oh. I mean it felt fast, I don't know how it looked on the camera. Through the tunnel and that is the end of the run. This is just like the little final bit which has a couple of little flowing doubles and tables. It's a bit of fun to end. The run like this is where all the runs end on this little uh, straight bit here so yeah boy we ya we ya we ya we ya we ya all right so that was moto i think i might come off it a few times just because there's so many different tracks that you could like intertween with each other but i think for the most part that's the moto red course so we're going to keep things moving straight back up to the top and we'll have a go at a few of us what are you looking at? I feel sorry for them sheep. What a miserable, miserable day. But hey, we're not gonna be miserable because we're riding a bike and we're at Black Mountain Cycle Centre and we're gonna do some downhill. It would be nicer if it was sunny though. Oh, and there is Mr. Uplift Man. Not gonna lie, slightly starting to regret not getting an uplift ticket. Not completely, but slightly. Okay, so from the top right here, this is like the top bit, there is five or six different runs. There's a blue, there's a couple of reds, and then there's like two blacks as well. Now the blue run is like the longest run, so I think we just hit that and like try and get it nice and smooth. Rabbit run, here we go. I've only done this run twice before, so could get a little bit sketchy. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, big bum. Uh, jumps, let's go jumps. Whoa! Whoa! Way! Oh, oh. I'm gonna need a lawyer for that case. Alright, trying to keep some momentum. It is pretty slippy though. Alright. I can barely see where the run is with all the leaves on the ground, man. Oh, yeah, Emmanuel. Tree. Don't hit the tree. Gotta remember, mum said don't hit the trees. I should really have brought some goggles. I cannot see at all. Oh, man, that was fun. Nice and flowing. And now we're at the start of Moto, but we're not gonna hit Moto this time. We're gonna hit the blue run. We're gonna keep it moving. Oh, up the hill, down, missing link. Let's get it. Oh my God, mate, those sperms are so slippy. I'm such a, I'm such Just because. Oh no, we're not. I'm gonna hit this door though. Here we go. Manual to turn. 
Woo! I think I'm on the red now. I am not sure. All I know is I've got dirt in my eyes. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. That is so fun. Like, despite it being wet and slippy and slow, because I'm the right little fanny when it's wet. That was pretty sick. Whee! 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 I'm not 100% satisfied with that blue run. So I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm just going to do the first half again because I want to get those, I want to get the jumps. I don't want to case them. I want to get them smooth. Let's go for a reset. Let's go back to the blue and let's jump the jumps. All right, rabbit run. Let's be having you. Oh my god, mate, 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 you see the wind just took me, the wind just took me, oh my god, thank you. Look at that nice man clearing all the trails of, of, the, uh, of the leaves, what a lovely chap. Alright, so the issue that we've got now is the sun started to come out which is great but because the because the jumps are still wet it's like a flipping glare that's coming off them so i can barely see anyway anyway back up to the top let's go and hit the red all right so what we're going to do this time guys we're going to hit the red from the top which is red dragon and at the halfway point we're going to jump on a3 which is the moto and then ride the motor to the bottom red dragon let's be having you hey all right a few more rocks to start with It's getting windy now in here. Getting real windy. Oh man, I need to learn to hit these berms faster than wet, man. I'm just being so soft. Alright, definitely doesn't feel as flowing. I mean, that's probably me. Not the actual run, but it doesn't feel oh, as fast as the blue around this berm. All right, okay. So this is the halfway point. And now we're gonna drop straight into moto. Yeah. Wee. Oh. Mate, this is just so much fun. Even in the wet, like when you can't go as hard as you want. Oh. Around the berm. Over the tabletop. Way. Change this turn. Bosh. Around the berm over the gap. Woo! Table. Woo! Am I going to the turn? Oh man. This is so flowing. I love it. I bloody love it. Whee! Oh man, that's so good. Oh, head into the slippy berm. And that's where we'll go easy. And that's all stop. Oh my god. I'm gonna call it a day right there. Um, I've been here for about four or five hours right now. It's just gone two o'clock. And I'm leaving a little bit early just because I wanna get uh, like north of Birmingham before the Friday rush hour traffic because I don't want to be sat in the car for the next five hours. Um, but anyway, didn't hit any of the blacks today. I just stuck to like the blues and reds. Uh, I wasn't massively confident with it being wet and whatnot. Uh, I hoped that I can do more mountain biking throughout the winter and uh, hopefully I can come back, come back here again when it's a little bit drier and we can hit some of those black, black runs and uh, see what they're all about. But all in all, guys, that was a pretty sick day. It's nice to do something a little bit different. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. 
Next, oh yeah, I need to remember my goggles next time because uh, it ain't too easy to see where you got mud in your eyes. But thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. It helps out massively with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.